Again, so let's have a review of our first law. Again, Newton's first law of motion states that an object continues in state of rest or in state of motion at a constant velocity unless compelled to change the state by a net force. So this means that you have a net force. Uh, uh, if there's no net force, the only way for the only motion of the object will be either it will be it will stay at rest if it started at rest, or it will continue to move with constant velocity along a straight line if it's if it starts uh, moving. And that state of motion is known as your inertia. Inertia is that tendency of the object to stay at rest or to continue its motion. And further, this will be the most important uh, Newton's law for this session. If an object is in static equilibrium, or that is in equilibrium, we're do doing static equilibrium here. Uh, the the for the object is either at rest or it moves with constant velocity. That is, the net sum of net external forces is equal to zero. So, hindi ko sinasabi again na walang forces. Ang sinasabi ko lang, lahat ng forces na nag-act sa particle nag-zero o nag-cancel out. Okay? So, yan. And then also, we will encounter um, we will encounter uh, uh, for first law. So, this is a vector equation, meaning that if the, uh, if the net sum of all forces is zero, then the components should also vanish. So x, um, x component, y component, and z component, dapat mawawala din yan. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong ba rito? May tanong? Uh, this is just a recall. And then we also recall Newton's second law. For Newton's second law, uh, if there is a net external force acting on the system, it will give rise to acceleration. This will be the coverage for, tomorrow, for Tuesday's discussion, which is on... Um, on uh, on uh, dynamics of particles. Alternatively, we have the acceleration is just the net sum of net external forces uh, all over mass. So, so, yon. So, okay. Again, this is a vector equation. Therefore, it's also true for the x, y, and possibly z components of the motion. And uh, we will see that next time that ma vector there should not, shouldn't be part of the free body diagram. Okay. Medyo, yon. Now, for Newton's third law, uh, it shows the property of forces that they will always act in pairs, but they will never act on the same object. So the action force, force exerted by A on B, should be uh, equal to the negative of the force exerted by B on A. Therefore, they have the same magnitude, but opposite in direction. One points at object A, another points at object B. And we will see here that the action force, uh, uh, this is important because if we want to determine forces for connected bodies, we need to determine the forces um, that are interacting with each other. So, uh, kung ang alam mo lang ay force exerted by the object you're considering, kailangan mong hanapin yung reaction force on when you draw your free body diagram. Okay, so, ayan. So, uh, again, FB on A and FA on B, they constitute an action-reaction pair. Questions? So, my questions ba dito? My tanong ba, this is just a review of what we've learned so far for the past two sessions. Answer. Ah, no. Now, um, we also have our notion of free body diagrams. So free body diagrams are, um, are, uh, are mathematical tools that we, we need to, uh, to employ for us to get equations and therefore to, to solve problems. So basically, it's a diagrammatic representation of all the forces acting on a body. So, Again, so uh, just a recap of the problem solving guide I gave you yesterday. Uh, we draw a free body diagram for each body, one body, one free body diagram, especially sa mga hindi sanay sa mga ganitong problems. Isa -isa mo muna. And then represent the particle as a single touch. Again, we're talking of particles today and for the next few lectures. So since particles yung mga yan, hindi mo kino consider yung size ng object. Therefore, you only represent it as a single dot. And then we show only the forces acting on the body. Uh, so uh, if you're only uh, uh, kung given lang sayo, if what's given is the forces exerted by that body onward onto the other body on, on another body, hindi mo hindi mo titingnan yon. Ang titingnan mo ngayon don ay yung reaction force ng um, body na yon dun sa kino consider mong body. Okay, it's kina consider mong object or kina consider mong particle. So again, we verify action reaction pairs using Newton's third law. Again, in free body diagrams, the only forces that, we're, that, we're, that are interested in, that we're interested in, are the forces acting on that body, not by that body. Okay, wag malilito jan. And then the net acceleration is not part of the body. Uh, for the meantime, we won't consider this for situation because we don't have accelerations yet. Next time na natin pag-usapan, pag ba, paano pag may acceleration? Questions? May tanong ba? May tanong dito? Wala. 